also um if we wanted we could we can now change um some of the other things we had changed before <coughs> for instance we can change this back to surface normals so it kind of all blows out from the middle the middle out uh, and even if we wanted we're not going to but we could set up a third set of debris and uh, move it to another event where all the secondary debris particles break apart uh, but like I said we're not going to do that I mean the options are there as long as you're able to think of it you know um Particle flow is very powerful, and you can do a lot of things with it. It's usually only limited by your imagination or what it is when you get done. There's only very few limitations that people have managed to come up with, and it's, you can usually even solve that with some scripting. So, uh, I mean, you could you can map the debris. You can do whatever. Let's say if we go to, if we let it play to 200... We take it all the way to the end to make sure all the pieces have crunched up well and whatever else. Maybe we wanted a 80. So we have quite a bit of debris there. And uh, if your computer starts to run slow from this kind of stuff, you could always just lower the um, visible amount, maybe 25, whatever. Oh, not there. 100 in your viewport 25 that will take it down to 25 percent of what um you know what you actually have there like i said i keep mine at 100 though to make sure i see what i'm getting unless i'm working in like you know a high density krakatoa situation so we have that and now we can put also in um we're not going to map the debris at all we can just um we can put in a plane another one what happened to our original plane anybody see where that went there it is well I guess we could use it as one and the same let's just take that original plane well you can hit M on the keyboard or go up here to your material editor Just put that on there. Okay, so um, we have that. We have that texture on there. A ground plane. Let's set that to 10,000. Also, uh, I showed this a little bit in the last tutorial. But there's a hidden lines mode now in Studio Max. It's really fucking awesome. I mean, it's almost like if you rendered in wireframe but didn't have the show both sides option on. I don't even know how to explain that. But it's just a great mode to work in. I do all my modeling exclusively now at work in this mode. Fantastic. Good job, guys. Autodesk. Rock and roll. So, um, oh, okay, well, anyway, smooth highlights. I'll take it to the end, make sure all the particles have come to a rest position. Put in a skylight. I want to go into my render thing, my advanced lighting. Make sure light tracer is on. And maybe, uh, maybe get a little bit more excitement out of this. But uh, you can render it just like that. You want to bring this up. You want to click on files. Set the name, destination folder, where you want to output it as, you know, be it a QuickTime MOV or AVI or whatever. 
Uh, so I'm just, I'm not going to set it as anything because it, it doesn't really matter to me. Maybe I'll render it tonight after I go to sleep. Um, I got to try to wrap this up kind of quick. My girl is uh, waiting. <laughs> I get a chance to see her yesterday, so today is like one of those makeup days. Oh, Alright, I'll spare you the time of sitting through this, you lucky bastards. Alright, that took forever, forever to render. Yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, I'm just showing you that you're able to do it now. Um, my dog is barking. That usually signifies the end of all tutorials, as well as all sanity. So, I'm glad that you stuck with me through the tutorial. I hope you have a little bit of a better understanding now of particle flow and how powerful it can be. When it's used properly, it's pretty awesome, pretty awesome indeed. And uh, hopefully the next thing you see after this will be a finished render of this debris. Don't count on it, but, you know, maybe. So until next time, all you CG fanatics and all you Chan 3-tards, I hope you have a good night, a good day, and always try to discover stuff beyond what I show you. So maybe one day you can help me out. Be well.